Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm Dr. Dean Nicholas, also known as Dr. Dino, president of the Chicago Dental Society. Uh, I'm here today after a long snowy weekend, and it's snowing again today in Chicago. So, uh, you know, we'll see how that affects today's uh, festivities, which it shouldn't. Fortunately, the snow or the weather will not affect our midwinter meeting this year. Uh, we are fast approaching our first virtual midwinter meeting in 20 days. I have the countdown right here, Heart of Dentistry on February 25th through 27th. For more details about midwinter meeting, you can go to cds.org. Also, for those of you who have not signed up yet for texting uh, to get important alerts and updates, please text DENTAL to 69922. That's D-E-N-T-A-L to 69922. This year, we have an all-star lineup of 118 different speakers that you can choose from to get your continuing education. In addition, the CDS Midwinter Meeting has always been the place where exhibitors announce and highlight their newest products to start off the new year. This year will be no different. Even though this meeting is virtual, we are excited to have 150 exhibitors, Hall of Fame exhibitors that bring their best to CDS every year. With that being said, we are fortunate today to have in our presence a featured exhibitor, legend of Midwinter Meeting, Martin Kearns, Marty, as he is known to his friends and family, who is Director of Customer Marketing at Lighthouse 360. Marty joined the company in February 2011 and has held several leadership positions, strategic partnerships, business development, and trade show sales. His tenure in these various roles with the company have given Marty the opportunity to contribute his expertise in multiple facets. He has been a guest speaker, panel moderator, and co-host at various seminars for dental professionals. In addition to co-hosting partner webinars and podcasts, his team represents Lighthouse at over 75 dental events each year throughout the U.S. and Canada. Just so you know, as an FYR, FYI, Marty and his team can usually be found, and Jimmy Marciano, <laughs> talking to Celeste at various trade shows. <laughs> a very satisfied and loyal Lighthouse customer. Marty holds a Bachelor of Science in Operations Management from Rensselaer Polytech Institute. He lives with his wife, Annie, and their four children in Mineola, New York. So right now I would like to welcome Marty Kearns. Thanks for joining us today, Marty. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you so much, Dr. Nicholas. Um, and. You know, it's great to see you. Normally we'd be, uh, you know, shaking hands or high-fiving you and Celeste at, at uh, McCormick Place, but this is as good a place as ever under the circumstances. So thank you so much for, uh, for including me and including Lighthouse. <laughs> well, before we get into your lifeline questions for Millionaire, um, <laughs> I want to give us a brief update. Tell us a little about yourself. You know, how did you get involved with Lighthouse and maybe give our viewers a brief history about the company? Yeah, 100%. Um, I've been uh, yesterday or Monday rather, uh, Dr. Nicholas was my 10 year anniversary uh, in some facet with Lighthouse. Wow. Um, you know, I, I came about looking for a career change uh, in 2010 um, out of the finance world. And uh, you know, a friend of mine recommended a, uh, a company called Yodel. And Yodel at the time was a new startup, tech startup. Um, that acquired Lighthouse in 2013. And so that's how I came to be a Lighthouse employee. Um, and, you know, it's been a, 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 an incredible journey, you know, meeting folks like you, like Celeste and your team at CDS, but also, um, you know, the evolution of, of, of our product and, and how we came to be um, has really uh, been eye opening for me in, in seeing that come to, to fruition over the years. Um, you mentioned like our history. Um, Dr. Nicholas, you might know, Dean, right? we, we got started uh, in 2002. Okay. And the, the co-founders of Lighthouse, they, uh, they started PracticeWorks, right? Very, pretty well-known, uh, you know, scheduling software in the care stream world now. Um, but we uh, were founded by the co-founders of PracticeWorks. And so one of our founders was a husband of a, a woman running a dental office in Atlanta. And, you know, he's a tech guy, but he also noticed that the place was just running really inefficiently. A lot of manual work being done and not a you know, above all, the, the experience for the patient and the staff was less than stellar. Um, and so he set out some, you know, late 2002 to, to try and find a solution and build one if necessary, which he ultimately did. 
um, to help solve for front office efficiency and creating better um, patient relationship and engagement tools. And thus, you know, Lighthouse was born. That's um, great. That's a that's yeah. a great story. Briefly, you know, what what is Lighthouse? You know, we're wondering, you know, yeah. just like what what does Lighthouse do? Sure. So uh, the, the simplest way for me to describe it is Lighthouse automates all the tedious tasks that front office could otherwise be doing manually um, to free up time for you and your staff to take the, the small amount of time that you have with each patient, make sure that you're building meaningful engagements really to not just boost the productivity, right? Automation that will always improve your productivity um, and, and the bottom line, but it's what you do with that spare time that is really important to us at Lighthouse. Um, you know, building a unique experience for each patient that comes through the door, it's tough to do with all the stuff that you have on your plates. And so we set out um, from day one and we continue to try and find ways to accomplish this, to free up that time so that you can give that each patient that uh, it's Valentine's Day, let's call it that love, right? Give them that attention that they deserve that keeps them coming back um, and not necessarily dreading, there's always anxiety, uh, dreading going to the, to the dentist, but actually looking forward to seeing your staff and seeing you and, um, you know, referring their friends and family because of that experience. That's great. All right. You know, having said that, we were wondering, and, you know, a lot of my colleagues are asking me now, you know, not just you, but how is Lighthouse planning on getting new clients, you know, without a physical presence and still deliver the same value that, 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 we're, that we're used to, that Celeste brags about? You know, um, it's, it's, it was something that gave us actually quite a bit of concern a year ago, right? As, as this all went down, we all unpacked our bags from Chicago last year, you know, to, to, to a world of, of chaos. And it was a concern of ours. Where are we going to find customers without all these trade shows that we go to? And so two things I, I touch on. One, um, the relationships and partnerships that we've built over the years have been crucial for us to um, keep all doors open and help each other out, right? Because we're all in this ship together and, you know, rising tide lifts all ships. And so, um, you know, by, by adopting a mentality of just making sure that we are working as closely as we can with everyone that we've built those relationships with over the years um, has helped us maintain, you know, a, a steady flow of business. And we haven't, you know, outside of the months, the couple months where offices were shut down, um, we haven't skipped a beat. Uh, we, we, we've been better than ever um, with our, our, our sales and, and revenue. And, and we have our partners in, in large part to thank for that. And the other piece is, you know, um, events like, like CDS's midwinter meeting going virtual, not all have been able to pull that off. And um, those that have, some of which, um, you know, we, we have participated in others that we haven't, um, you know, we're, we're not as creative as it possibly could have been to make sure that, you um, uh, they, they were helping the vendors. And so the ones knock wood that we have been participating in by and large have been really successful for us in finding creative ways to reach the audience, engage the audience, just as you and your team do when we're at McCormick Place. Um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll give some kudos, even though this, this event hasn't even gone off yet. Um, we're already seeing some really creative ways for us to engage and find customers and, if you will, gamify the, the, the exhibit hall and, and, and create uh, urgency and curiosity for um, dental practices and, and doctors, office managers, the like, to um, engage with these virtual booths and, and, and maintain a connection in this, let's, let's face it, it's a virtual world right now. Well, you know, I, along with others, appreciate that you're doing this for the dental team. You know, you're trying to make our lives easier. And especially with what's going on now, you know, with this paradigm shift of COVID, you know, how has Light, Lighthouse managed, you know, patient flow, changes yeah. in protocols, things like that. Before you answer, I want to tell you that we love the fast track. You know, you can, you can talk about that, about, you know, COVID questions and creating a virtual waiting room and things that this actually does for us that doesn't, you know, if you're a small office like me, it helps because it, it takes the place of a person. And then in a large office, you know, it's, it's in addition to, you know, everybody else that's running around. So if you want to go ahead and tell us about that, that would be great. Yeah, I think um, you, you hit the nail on the head around the paradigm shift, Dr. Nicholas, right? Um, you know, the, the, the idea of uh, maintaining social distancing is, is one that at first, I'm sure had a lot of, of dental professionals, you know, just scrambling and kind of figure out how they're going to manage this, this 
um, conundrum, right? Because you have to, you're, you're, you're there in the oral cavity, you're doing your, your, your work, you've got to come up with infection control measures and things to uh, maximize safety. So the first thing I'd say is, um, you know, the role that we play is first in education. And during the shutdown, um, you know, not only was there a lot of confusion, you know, internally in offices and scrambling to figure out their next moves, but also patients, right? Like, is it safe to go to the, to the dentist? Is it not? Um, what, what steps are they taking to, to make sure that, you know, I'm safe going there? And so we provide a few tools that allow offices to maintain that connectivity and maintain that relationship and connection by educating patients, um, even when they're shut down. So our, our e-blast feature, um, which uh, we've uh, recently revamped and, and given a whole new life to and, and remodeled, if you will, it's called Campaign Studio. Um, an effective way for you to send out mass emails to reach all of your patients and let them know the steps you're taking, infection control measures, right, social distancing protocol, um, virtual waiting room, which we'll get to in a sec, but teledentistry and any options you're providing to maintain safety and deal with this paradigm shift. Um, we found that a lot of offices are using that eBlast feature campaign studio to send out those mass, mass emails. Um, but to, to your point, um, our patient fast track, which is our, our online forms, online health forms, um, is a game changer. The day of clipboard and pen is no more, um, at least it shouldn't be uh, in your office. It's not safe as, as, as it can be. And we had this feature already available for Lighthouse users pre-COVID, uh, but with the dawn of COVID and, and uh, the need for, for contactless solutions, uh, we found that this was a great way for us to uh, promote it as part of a virtual waiting room or a contactless waiting room where a patient can sit in their car or at home, receive a text message, fill out their online health forms, fill out a COVID-19 screener um, an hour before their right. appointment and have that information uh, remit back to the office where there's no need to exchange paper or pen. Um, and with certain scheduling softwares, it'll also write back, you know, Dentrix most predominantly um, into the scheduling software. So there's, there's no need for that extra manual work. That's great. In fact, I just received a reminder for this meeting and filled out my, uh, my, my thing, my uh, forms on the phone uh, and submitted those uh, <laughs> to Lighthouse, so uh, to Celeste to, to print those out. So, you know, you talked about teledentistry. It's interesting because a lot of my colleagues are going to say, well, I've never done that before. I said, well, you know, maybe Marty sent me a picture of one of the kids with, with two teeth that were lingled to the other ones. That's, that's teledentistry. You know, you, you we're already involved in that. So, uh, but, but for what you do for the dental team is, is terrific. Like I said, making the lives easier uh, at the office. Uh, in follow-up, I know that our office uh, uses Lighthouse and we're, we're thrilled with the protocols that you have put in place um, what is the role now of Lighthouse in keeping staff and patients safe while maintaining, you know, connections during this whole pandemic thing? Right. I, I think that the first and, and foremost is like, you know, it's a paradigm or it's a, it's, it's a conundrum. You think, okay, well, how do I maintain connection while staying safely far apart? So um, the patient fast track feature that we talked about is one example of what we call our virtual waiting room. There are other pieces to this that help the office in a convenient way, right, through mostly text message. Um, keep not just patients informed about uh, new steps and new protocol and why it is safe to visit your practice um, specifically, but also um, letting them know, look, when you arrive, okay, there's no need to come into the office, you sit in your car, and we'll let you know when the chair is available for you. So literally a, a contactless waiting room. And we set this up through our two-way text feature, which is a very popular um, component of Lighthouse. It's used um, by just about every office that, that's uh, that working with us right now. And we built into the two-way text feature when COVID hit a number of, uh, Dr. Nicholas, like we, we call them pre and post arrival templates so that there's a number of things that you can with just one click text back and forth to a patient to let them know um, look when you arrive wait in your car we'll let you know when it's safe to come in like i said or okay um, it's now safe to come into the office we also leverage that two-way text uh, feature to um, facilitate online bill pay so it's you know you talk about social distancing yes you can you know pass a credit card under a sheet of plastic and stay somewhat safe, or you can build convenience and let that patient pay uh, when, it's, when it's convenient for them and keep your, your staff on to the next 
task uh, and your patient's safe as well. So online bill pay is another great example within the virtual waiting room Absolutely. of allowing uh, a contactless solution to replace what otherwise might have been an exchange of uh, credit card information or otherwise, you know, other type of payment. Um, so just a few different examples of how we're trying to help uh, keep staff and patients safe um, it, through the virtual waiting room. Uh, I know what the feedback is from this office, but what do you hear from other offices, you know, from existing clients? What do you hear from them? What, what do they love? What's, what has made their lives easier? Yeah, a few things um, recently um, that we've heard. First, you know, when, when COVID hit, especially being able to reach the masses quickly and efficiently, um, we get a, a lot of, of thanks from customers who could, could only imagine what that process would have been like if they didn't have something simple to spin up like Lighthouse, compose a quick message and send it out to all of your patients, for example, if it's a mass email through our, our campaign studio uh, feature, um, letting them know, look, you're closing down, or we have a new process in place, or, hey, here's what we're doing simply to keep you safe. It's okay to come in. Anxiety is at an all-time high, and there was always, you know, anxiety about visiting the dentist. But you know, uh, we get a lot of thanks from customers about the email marketing feature to be able to reach everyone with a message quickly. Uh, but same goes with the two-way text, Dean. Uh, they they talk a lot about um, their their uh, engagements with with patients and being able to uh, quickly and, and in, in a convenient way communicate with uh, with patients back and forth, um, you know, in, in a 2020, 2021 manner, right? Um, folks don't want to call anymore as much as they used to, as much as I'm sure they love to hear from you and your team, you know, they prefer to, to, to text. And so it just saves a ton of time. And we get a lot of accolades about just how user friendly those particular tools are. Um, the other thing I'd, I'd mention is fill-in, and I believe your office uses this as well, Dr. Nicholas, but fill-in detects last-minute cancellations in your calendar, yes. and you know there have been quite a lot of cancellations uh, recently. I think we can all agree that you know, uh, COVID has created chaos on everyone's schedule, juggling work, juggling kids back and forth from school. Are they virtual or are they in person? You know, things just keep changing. And so as cancellations continue to be and no shows continue to be a, 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 a bigger problem probably than ever for many offices, fill in will detect that last minute cancellation. Let your office know we've detected a cancellation in your calendar. Do you want us to attempt to fill it? It will look at patient behavior, folks who typically schedule on Thursday afternoons who are due for recall. It will also look at your ASAP or sooner if possible list if you use one uh, within your scheduling software. And it will offer up a text message to 10 patients saying, hey, we have a, an, an opening tomorrow. We have an opening on Monday, would you like it? And um, we get a lot of accolades from, from offices who say that we really do help um, keep, keep their, uh, their schedule full with that feature as well. I can tell you what mine is. My, my favorite feature is, is the two-way texting at 24 hours. You know, initially I thought, well, do we have to use our own phones and, and all that? But but that feature, because everybody, you know, 99% of all text messages get read where, you know, emails, it's a little bit less than that. So we love that, the texting feature, the patients love it. They love the reminders. Uh, what is your favorite feature of Lighthouse? That's a really good question. Uh, m mine is actually our secret sauce. And... <laughs> There's, there's a lot of solutions out there and, and good ones um, to, to keep your schedule full. It's not just a, hey, do you do text messages? Do you do, can you email? Can you do these things? It's okay. You have to walk the fine line of not over communicating to someone because you'll rub them the wrong way. You'll, you'll tick them off. And so what I appreciate and love the most about all of our features, but most especially the automated communication features for reminders, for recall, for last minute cancellations, is that it doesn't cross the line and start to send too many. For example, if someone confirms we're not going to, on Tuesday for an appointment on Thursday, we're not going to send them another reminder on Wednesday. That's annoying. In fact, I, I had an appointment to get a COVID test, negative, thank God. Um, and I kept getting reminders, you know, up until that appointment. I said, I get it. Okay. I said I would be there. You can, you can annoy people. 
You heard Dr. Nicholas say, I have four children. If Annie and I get an appointment reminder. Just call me Dino, by the way. Dino, thank you. I didn't know we were going to be able to get that, that informal on here, but now yes, that's relax. fine. Absolutely. Now we can relax. I'm used, I'm used to seeing Celeste around calling you Dino. And so that makes oh, me comfortable with calling you yeah, Dino. No, Dino's good. But when Annie gets, you know, four text messages, if we're bringing all the kids in at once to the pediatrician and, and we get four text messages at once and four emails at once, both of us, it, it's a real pain in the neck. And so we just make it really simple and, and, and convenient uh, for the individual or for the family visits by not over communicating. And, you know, just walking that fine line to get it right um, is a challenge, but is what I like most about Lighthouse. Well, the fact that you can customize the frequency of the message. I think when we had first started, it was, you know, you could set it up. It was a template. You could get a, you would get a reminder two weeks before and then a night before and then an hour before. And what's funny is, as you mentioned, and I'll say it because I can't, I'm 60. Everybody older than me says, just give me one reminder. That's it. Whereas, you know, the younger crowd doesn't mind. They just delete them. They don't care. But everybody else thinks it's taking up memory. I got to charge my phone again. So, uh, but, but the way that Lighthouse has adapted uh, has helped tremendously. Uh, so that was a good answer. I was going to ask you which one of your four children was your favorite, but uh, you got one coming. So you, you, you get a pass on that. That one's my favorite. <laughs> we have a clean slate. <laughs> so next, you know, for those of us that already have Lighthouse or for those that are thinking about getting Lighthouse, yeah. what, what are the new product features for Lighthouse uh, for this year for 2021? Great question. Um, something we've got coming down the pike, uh, not available yet, but is in development is um, an analytics tool. Um, we we are, are able to show a lot of, of, of results and some of those are more obvious than others to a dental office. And so uh, we want to go above and beyond to make sure that we, as my kids math teachers will say, show your work, right? We wanna be able to report on, on exactly uh, what those numbers look like. And so um, there are solutions out in the market that have become really popular over the years and um, you've seen them as standalone products in many instances where someone buys an analytics tool of some kind. We aim to build analytics and, and a business intelligence uh, aspect in, directly into the Lighthouse portal to, to show that data and, and help offices pivot and make the right decisions based on uh, how those numbers are trending. So we're really excited for that. Um, you know, fittingly, it's called, uh, you know, Project Long Island right now while it's in development. And that's where I'm from. So I'm, I'm really pumped to, uh, to say that that's coming down the pike. Some other things. Just, go, go ahead, ahead Marty. I'm sorry. I was just thinking about this. Do you guys only do dental? Yeah. Okay. And so then, it, so what it, you're it, talking it, about it, is, is you're, it. you're kind, you're coming up with, with some kind of metrics for us to measure things at the office. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. That's correct. Right. Um, how, not just, you know, um, how many messages went out, but how many appointments, re how many re recare appointments uh, took place as a result of, of those messages, right, in any given month or period of time. And, you know, okay, how many, uh, uh, how many appointments did we fill for, for hygiene um, that were previously canceled, like those, those last minute cancellations I mentioned before. Treatment. Um, too many offices are, are um, very aware of our ability to help with appointment reminders and recall, et cetera, but not aware that Lighthouse um, can help significantly move the needle with case acceptance. And so we also, Autumn, we can see when, you know, Dino recommends someone, you know, gets this treatment or that treatment, and I'm sure you nail the presentation every time, no doubt, but in those instances where someone doesn't schedule that appointment right away, in a lot of offices, that's a phone call or another manual step. And we do automate uh, treatment reminders as well. Um, and you know that that is something that we want to, as another example to your question, you know, that we can report to um, and aim to report to as we develop out this new feature. That is a great feature. Can you touch briefly on the uh, the recall reminder? I mean, we 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 love that. Could you tell us about that? Sure. So um, you know, Lighthouse. Of course, we want to help make sure that anyone scheduled comes in on time as they initially intended to, confirms that they're coming and shows up on time. The other side and where we, we really, I think, move the needle, especially for the hygiene schedule is re with recare. And ours is, is unique in that we look at, you know, the appointment codes within your scheduling software, and we can see the last time they were in for, for hygiene or for perio. And before they go past due, 
um, typically our, our system starts sending out messages to patients um, six weeks before their next uh, hygiene appointment would otherwise be due. All right, and so in many cases, we're, we're effective by being this proactive with our approach because we've got that patient scheduled before they go past due. In many other solutions out there, um, this won't kick in um, until that patient has gone past due. So we want to get ahead of it as often as possible. Similarly, as you called out, you know, it's, um, it's great because it allows you to pick and choose uh, the cadence Okay, we'll give you recommendations based on the data that we see. Um, should it be a text message? Should it be an email? And how often should you be communicating with the patient who's uh, becoming past due to, to re-up on recare? Um, it is a phenomenal tool and you know, we, we help improve uh, uh, recare rates for, for 90, 94% of our patients based on our last, sorry, of our practices based on our last survey. Um, you know, 94% saw um, a, a, a reduction in their recall time. Um, some saw a significant increase, but that's just across the board. We're, we're, we're really helping them, the 11,000 plus offices um, move the needle in some aspect there. Well, I know we love uh, sending customized uh, texts. That's a great, that's a great feature. Uh, what do you do without people that don't have access to email or texting then? What's, how do we handle that? Yeah, There's great still question. a few of them out there. Yeah, believe it or not, they're out there. And I think, um, like I said to you before, uh, that there's, there's a way you can over communicate and then there's how do I reach folks, right? And so two things I'd say to you there, for either an elderly audience or just old school folks um, who prefer you know, to pick up, to talk on the phone, Lighthouse can automate phone calls to patients uh, where, you know, for example, if it were appointment reminder, they can press one to confirm their appointment, okay? Um, and if they have any issues or if they need to reschedule, they press two, that's ringing back to your team, okay? Um, and to complement that, we can also automate direct mail. So it's not uncommon for, for an office to, especially with their recall and their automated recall campaigns, if people start going past due and we've tried a text and we've tried an email, they'll introduce a postcard or two somewhere further down the, um, down the road. So, you know, I think what, what you just touched on is important for, for us to confirm across the board, whether it's text or email or an automated call or direct mail, um, we won't let someone slip through the cracks. They literally have to go off the grid completely to be unreachable. Right. Yeah. You, uh, you Marty, and the company may be responsible for putting the dental recall postcard in the Smithsonian. I know I have a few boxes of them left over and, you know, we're never going to use them again. There's no, need. yeah, those <laughs> we're never going to use them again. So that's a, uh, that's a great feature. And, and everything else you've mentioned has been, like I said, it's not just for myself, you're helping the entire team. You're helping the office. You're keeping track of things that, that normally one person would spend all day doing and then be very confused afterwards. So, you know, I mean, that's just a, it's just a terrific feature. And now we get to the excitement of the day. Okay. The big surprise with no pressure on my part, okay, please tell us and our, our viewers, what is the exclusive offer um, for all C, uh, CDS midwinter meeting attendees when they mention Dr. Dino 2021 or Heart of Dentistry when they visit the uh, virtual Lighthouse uh, exhibit booth? Yes, so uh, please do visit our team in the booth and, and, uh, and make the most of the experience. If, uh, if you're interested in learning more about Lighthouse, uh, there, there's two things I can share with you. One, anyone who takes a demo from Lighthouse will be eligible to receive a $200 Amazon gift card. Um, and so not too shabby, have to help you, uh, you know, do your online virtual shopping. I know my, my, my cart is full as we speak, and I think my next move <laughs> is to, to check out. Um, and anyone who purchases, um, you know, take the demo. That's free of charge, of course and gives you good opportunity to see how all these features work with your, um, you know, your scheduling software and, and your needs. If you decide it's a good fit and you decide to purchase Lighthouse, two things. One, we have no commitment whatsoever. We have to earn your business month over month. And um, that's been our model since day one. So it's month to month, you try it and, and hopefully you'll love it. If you do purchase it, um, you're eligible for a $500 Amazon gift card. And that's exclusive to CDS. We hope uh, that you guys that's will take great. advantage of that. That's that's unbelievable. I will tell you your philosophy of trying it 
uh, works tremendously because you don't have to push this. Once you have this product, it's like power windows or your remote. You know, if you've never had one, okay, you can say, well, I don't know what I'm missing. But the minute you have Lighthouse and you use this, and, and it's not just that it's a great service, but your support and the people that, that Celeste talks to every week are, are just terrific. And, and you're constantly updating. You're constantly changing and modifying and, and adjusting your product that, uh, that helps us tremendously. Like I said, it helps, it helps the team. And during a time when we needed this, because I had Lighthouse before uh, the pandemic hit, and now that we have it during this, you know, we realize that, that it's, it's a great product that everybody could use. Thank Is you. there anything else, Marty, that I didn't mention that that you think uh, people want to know about? Yeah, I think um, one thing that uh, I, I'd leave you with, and, and Dr. Nicholas Nicholas just started to to hit on this is, you know, our our team is is committed. Um, you, you heard me mention, you know, I'm here for ten years, and we have team members here from the beginning, and um, that's a token to our our dedication to the advancement of of the dental office and the patient experience, and um, you know, uh, I think that that'll shine through in, in the experience that you have interactions with our team members, uh, not just the product itself, Dino. Um, Absolutely. We're really, hey, do we're me really a favor, proud. Marty. I'm sorry. That's okay. Do me a favor and mention the part about the Amazon gift card again, in case, in case yep. anybody missed that. Yep. Schedule a demo. Okay. And you'll, okay. once you're in our booth there, you'll see a number of ways you can get in touch with us. Schedule a demo, get a $200 Amazon gift card. You buy Lighthouse, get a $500 Amazon gift card. That easy. That's great. I know we'll have a live um, chat feature for, for midwinter for the exhibitors. There'll be a texting feature. There'll also be uh, an area where people can make appointments so that, you know, if they want to come back at another time and talk to somebody at Lighthouse, it's, it's possible. So we're trying to set up the best way to, to contact and, and to purchase through the exhibitors. Perfect. Um, yep. If, if you visit our booth, there'll be a number of ways you can chat with uh, me and the team. Jimmy Marciano, you called him out before, Dino. Um, right. And others who will be manning the the, uh, the the virtual experience, as we'll call it. Um, and uh, we hope to be back in, in McCormick Place next year with you guys. Uh, uh, we appreciate we, that. We've had nothing but but between you and Jimmy and, and all the staff, uh, uh, great experiences with Lighthouse. Uh, we're very happy. Uh, 